Hello, and welcome to Scrapbook.com's recap of Creativation 2024. I'm Cody. And I'm Laura, and we are so excited to be here with you to share with you what we got to see at Creativation this year. So excited. First of all, let's tell you a little bit about what Creativation is, if you're not familiar. It is a big trade show where all of the brands and suppliers go to show everything that's new and exciting that they have coming out, and we get to see it and get it for our store so that you can have it in your hot little hands. And we were so thrilled to see all of the brands that were there at the show, and so we're excited to talk to you about each of them and what we saw. Yeah, it was super fun to go into their booths, you know, and then play with the stuff, test it out, and then have people demo the products. It was really fun to get face-to-face, -to -face too, with mm. some of these brands and get to see their influencers and also the owners and a lot of the people that work behind the scenes to get these things to us. So it's great to have a great time to connect with them face-to-face. -face. All right, so where do you want to start? Well, let's, well, let's start with scrapbook.com. Oh, we, okay. we didn't have a booth, but we do no. want to share what's coming new in 2024. Yeah, so since we're sharing all things new, let's share what we have coming out. So if you haven't seen our live stream where Laura and Cody spilled the beans, <laughs> we shared a little bit about this magnetic magic mat that's coming out, and we're so excited. So I'm going to go to overhead here, but we have the regular original OG founded by scrapbook.com magic mat, which is the nice pad for your cutting plates. And then on the opposite side is the magnetic side. So we have a die, thank you, Cody. And look at that, it just sticks to the magnetic side, which is great. So your paper will go down, then this will stick down to your paper so you can run it through your machine. We know you all were asking for a magnetic magic mat and here you go. We also do have this workspace mat, yes. this white workspace mat coming in 2024. This is so great. I love that it's white and gray, so it gives you a subtle background while you're working on your projects. I like having the lighter aesthetic color, especially in my space where I have a lot of white. And it's self-healing, which is nice, so you can use knives on this, you can be rough and tough with it, and it will last a very long time. This is coming very soon, and it's brand new for 2024. Let's talk about Picket Fence. So Picket Fence had an amazing booth, tons of color. They were showing us all kinds of things. It was yeah. super fun to see their glitter. Well, we'll show you a couple of things we got to bring home yes. to show you all. So we have the paper pouncers. These are the pint-sized paper pouncers. So there are the large ones that you all love, but now they come in these really cool mini sizes. And we saw demos at the booth of them demoing pouncing on a stencil. Um, blending it all together, it was so cool to see. And they also had the brand new blue and green pouncers. Yes. They were so pretty. I cannot wait for you all to get those and see those. Yes, they were the ocean blue and ocean yeah. green packs. And so those were really cool. They just add a great color collection to the line of paper pouncers. Yeah, plus these cute little tiny ones. I know, those oh plate size ones are so fun. I need these. And then they also showed us this at their booth. Ooh. It's the rainbow desk trivet. So your heat tool can go on this, anything. Let's you know. open that up yeah. too, because this is so pretty. Okay, so I fell in love with this when I saw this at the um, at their booth. They had it on all of their tables because look at that color. Look at how vibrant. It's just flat on the bottom, and then it's a silicone um, top, so you can put your heat tools here. Um, anything hot that you're using, your hot glue gun, other, oh, yeah. other hot tools on there. It just adds such a fun color to your space. So we cannot wait for this stuff to be available in the store. Yes, thank you, Picket Fence. Yes. All right, next up, Cody, we got to see Ranger, and oh my goodness, we got to see some of our friends there. Yes, we saw Simon Hurley, Dina Wakely. We did. Um, and they were doing demos. Like crazy. Yes, Lots like of fun showing stuff. all kinds of things. So one of the demos we saw was Simon Hurley was demonstrating the new neon lunar paste. Neon, look I at mean, these gorgeous colors. They so are vibrant. bright yeah. and so pretty in person. They are gonna be so much fun. And then he had some new stamps. Yes, and so what Simon was doing is he was using lunar paste on his cards and then swiping them and then putting the stamp into yeah, the lunar paste. Yeah, that's what I liked. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then he pulled it out and then did another uh, color of lunar paste on top. It wiped oh, yeah. it off. It oh, made and such the, a cool look. But when he did that other color on top of the impression, he waited for it to dry, and then he did another color, and it went inside. So yes. like this script writing he was showing us, after he indented it or embossed it or whatever you want to call it, into his um, paper, he let that dry, and then he came back on top with a beautiful uh, solar paste or lunar paste. Lunar paste, yeah. Lunar paste, and went in and it created gold, I think he used the gold color, mm -hmm. inside the script writing and I was dying. It was so pretty. Yes, so that was such a cool trick to learn. Yeah. 
And of course, he's always showing the stamping foam and other things that you mm -hmm. can do. He was using the paper towel roll to get the impression from that. Yeah. Um, and that was really neat to see in person. It's always cool yeah. to see these people who, these are their products and then they're using them and showing it to us and we're learning yes. from the masters, you know. Yeah, we got to see Dina too and she yep. got to show us some demos with some of her stuff, which was gorgeous. Yes. So we cannot wait for you all to see it coming very, very soon. Yes, and these are available right now. So you can these, get oh these. Oh yeah, these came in stock. So yes. grab them while you can. Totally. Okay. All right, next up, we saw our fabulous friends at Paper Rose. Yes. Leanne is such a treat to, to visit with. It's always great to meet the people behind these brands. They're such amazing people, and their booth was super fun. They even had a giant image of this on one of their backdrops. It was so pretty. And these gorgeous gnomes, too. She did such a great job. These are beautiful with this floral and gardeny feel and background. I mean, look at that. How fun is that wood paneling background? Her illustrations and collections are so pretty. They really have like a dye for everything oh, and yeah. a stencil. Lots of fun new stuff from them and especially this new rainbow garden paper pad. We're so excited to be getting it here at scrapbook.com. Yes. All right, after Paper Rose, we saw Lisa Horton. Oh my our gosh. Our dearest dear friend. Yes, and she is so She's fun. a treat. She's a treat. I'm telling you, in person, she's so much fun. Yes, okay. and so Lisa was showing us the ultimate accessory. Lisa showed us this rotating stamping tool that she came out with. These prongs go into the Ultimate 2 tool, um, and then you can pick this up, rotate it, stamp down, and you get a really fun uh, wreath look. Yeah, and other fun looks. So if oh, you want to yeah. do something that's round like that, this is the tool for you. Super exciting that she came out with this. She also had flash paste and explosion powders, and what those are, the flash paste is like a very shiny medium, and then the explosion powders, this medium that you would almost like pepper onto yeah. your paper, spray it with water. Yep. But she took the flash paste and the explosion powder and mixed them together to get a really cool mm -hmm. look. Yeah, really cool. And then she also had her sparkle spray, which Ooh. was a definite favorite of mine. She sprayed that on some black paper and it was gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. It and was like so sparkly. Yes, and so it looks white. Like they all look white in the bottles, yeah. but they're mm -hmm. different colors. And I'm telling you, the camera does not do it no. justice. Like you have no. to see it in real in life. In person, it's just amazing. It makes it made her whole card sparkly without causing it to warp or anything. It was gorgeous. Yeah. Just really cool stuff from Lisa Horton. Next up, we had Crafter's Companion. That yes. was so much fun in their booth. They had so many fun things to show us. One of the things that I loved was the desk vacuum. Oh yeah, same. I mean, I need this. Yes, when they were showing it like in person, I was like, sold, I need that. And what's even cooler is that it had an attachment with it so you can get a longer reach into places that you need to vacuum up little pieces of paper. So, and it was chargeable. You charge it with a USB port. It was so cool. They also had this magnetic die storage stand so you can have a big stand up put all your dyes on it while you're working. I thought that was really neat. This was something I love. These are from Sarah Davies, and they are the little, like, enchanted ocean shells. Look how cute these are. I'm gonna spread them out here. Look Ooh. at how pretty these are. They had these on some cards that we saw made in the booth, and they are stunning, absolutely gorgeous. They have, like, an iridescent um, shine to them. So pretty. So if you're looking to make some mermaid or some ocean uh, layouts or cards, these are going to be perfect. Yeah, and there's a whole Enchanted Ocean collection that they had on display. In that collection too, though, they were also showing cards that used these illusion films. Oh, yeah. And they just made, like, the jellyfish, like, so shiny, so sparkly. Yeah. Like, it was so neat to see. I yeah, love these them. are cool. And they said that you can cut die cuts out of them, mm -hmm. which is really cool, which is what you're talking about on yes. that card. They had some die cut pieces or they lined it behind an open die cut piece, which was really cool. So these are new and really exciting. Yes. Okay. Crafter's Companion. All right. Next up, we had Crafter's Workshop and we saw some fun new things in her booth. Yes. So Erin Reed was in the booth uh, demoing all of these products that we saw. There was the palette paper pad. It's a mm -hmm. six by six paper pad. Erin used it to dip, so they have these new brushes too. Mm -hmm. So she took um, some stencil butter out, put it on the palette, and then took the new brush, rubbed it into the palette, and then just used that as like her workspace. And then yeah, when she was done with the palette, she just took out the paper and 
Hasse. Yeah, that makes it really easy for doing mixed media when you just mm -hmm. want a small space to work on and then be able to throw it away and not have a mess in your space. So I really love the genius idea behind that. And yeah, it was really fun to see Erin and see her demoing that stuff in there and really cool new stuff coming from Crafters Workshop. All right, next we had Altenu. Altenu, we saw their new products. They had them all on display. So pretty. And then as we were leaving, they said, do you want to see one more thing? One more secret thing. And we're like, yes. Of course. Who doesn't? Uh, okay. So they showed us the new stamp wheel that's coming out. So this new stamp wheel is even bigger than the original version. Plus, it also has one of the sides um, will come off. So you can fit an even bigger sheet of paper yeah, in there. Yeah, which is nice. We even got a photo so that you could see the difference in the size. size. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. so. That is really exciting. And they also had lots of new dyes, beautiful stencils. That little light bulb die. Oh my gosh, so cute. That was my favorite. Yes. It's like a little shaker light bulb die. It's so cute. And we got to meet the designer from that. That yes, was really Miriam. fun. Miriam. Miriam, that was so fun to meet you and see you if you're watching. <laughs> yes. um, she has a great eye and we're just excited to be working with her too. Yes. So she's often in our gallery. Yes, often. Yes. In the gallery. She makes some beautiful projects, so you'll have to check them out. After Altenu, we got to have a special treat Ooh. with Stacy Park. Yes, Stacy showed us everything. Can I just say, meeting her in person was such a sweet treat because I've seen her videos and she is the exact mm -hmm. same way in person. She's a sweetheart and I think we had many hugs. Yes. She's a sweetheart, so it was so fun to meet her in person. And not only that, though, man, she knows her stuff. She really does. She really, really does. She's got an incredible crafty mind. I mm -hmm. mean, if you have not checked out her videos, you definitely yeah. have to. Yeah, um, really good educator. I feel like I've seen this stuff, and then again, my mind was blown when she gets you know her hands on it and then yeah. shows you. It's amazing. She showed her dyes, mm -hmm. and we have footage of that where she showed all the different ways that you can use the dyes because her dyes, they come in like, they're separated. So then, you know, there's the die part, but then there's also a part that you can emboss, you can use in the letterpress, foil, mm -hmm. um, or sorry, the better press or foiling. Um, and she showed so many different ways that you can use her dies. She also gave us a peek at the next release that's coming mm -hmm. out. And that is very exciting. She has stencils that coordinate with the stamps that have, were just already released. Yes, from her already released, mm -hmm. now she has stencils, which is exciting. Yeah, they're also coming out with paper yep. that is uh, color core, and mm -hmm. she tore it and showed the inside of that. She also had a sanding block. Yes. And she distressed, cool. you know, her embossed dyes. It was yeah. really cool to see. She's just very innovative and has some really good ideas. And we're so glad she's part of the industry and that she's coming out with all of this new stuff. And we cannot wait again for you to get your hands on it. And so we're anxiously waiting too. Yes, yes. So be on the lookout for that coming soon. All right, after Stacy Park, we had Spellbinders. Oh yeah. We love Spellbinders. We do. <clears throat> and Spellbinders, man, they took us on a tour of each of their machines. It was like. That was fun. It was like, honestly, like, but wait, there's more. There's more. But wait, there's and more. then we go around the corner and there's another little booth, little area set up where they have another machine to show us more stuff. So that was yes. really fun. Yes. yes, it was like wax seals, um, mm -hmm. the better press. The better press. Foiling. Foiling, glimmer. Yep, yep. yep all of that all fun stuff. All the stuff. stuff. And yeah. so it was really cool to see I just, I always love to see all the things in action. I know. Yeah. From the experts. Yeah. Um, and then one thing that they had that's new and coming, if you're a fan of wax seals, they had these like 3D wax seals. There was yeah. like a mushroom. Oh, and that like, was cool. It was so detailed. Yeah, so the better press that they have, they are now coming out with two separate dyes so you can do different colors. Yes. So you know how you have the flower and you have the stem and the leaves and then you have the top of the flower? Now they're in two separate pieces so that you can color them different colors, which is really exciting. I'm glad they thought of that. Yes. And now you can do it that way, which totally. was cool. And to see that demoed was really fun. Yes, and those are the registered registration mm -hmm. plates and mm -hmm. I love that they have like this piece of acetate it's like a guide yes. so you can have your you put your things down they made it so easy up. yes that's you what I was going to say you cannot mess it up yeah which so, is nice I yeah. love that that was so cool that was great so many good things in Spellbinders. Yes. Next, we hopped on over to the Penny Black booth and they had some fun things. So we'll go to overhead here. All right, so overhead here, you can see some of the fun things that we saw in their booth. One of the things that I loved was this die, which I think is genius as well. Okay, so it's got this piece right here that goes underneath your word die so that you can do it on your card as a background and then put the word right over it and it has the whole solid piece underneath, if that makes sense. It was really cool. Yes, so they're called edger dies. So there was the welcome edger die there that we saw and then they also had the note edger. The edger die was very exciting to see. Yes, they also were doing what's, you know, 
Some of you probably know what a make and take is. We were yep. playing with the stuff. So they were showing the stick and shine. So these are similar to rub-ons in a way, um, but you put it down and then you put the foil Oil. on top and then peel, peel it up it. and boom, you have like this shiny look. And so, you know, they have all of these foils. Like this is a sampler pack it comes with you know, so many different colors, but it was so fun to sit and play with that and honestly see how easy it was to add foiling to these stick and shine sheets. So easy, and they call it stick and shine, which is really cute. So some fun new things from Penny Black. We love working with them as well, so make sure you check out all of this new stuff that is coming soon. Yes. Next, we went over to the Prima booth, and it was Beautiful. Always gorgeous. Beautiful. Florals, yes. 3D dimensional projects everywhere. Yeah. Very, very pretty. Um, it's eye candy everywhere in the Prima booth. Totally. Truly. Like works of art, yeah, honestly. I felt it really like is. I could have stayed in there all day because yeah. I was just like admiring all of the different ornate projects that they had. Yeah, and they had a lot of um, cards that were already done that mm -hmm. were absolutely gorgeous. And you just wanted to spend like an hour on each one looking, how did this person make this gorgeous work of art? It's yes. so fun. Kind of reminds me of Adrian Bose who did it for SBC Fest. Totally. She used a lot of Prima, but there was that times a hundred in their booth, like everywhere. It was so gorgeous. Yes, and one of the creators, Natalie, mm -hmm. was in the booth. And we got so, to meet her. Yeah, just absolutely yeah. stunning work. They also showed us their new collection, Nature Academia, Beautiful. which is like very like woodsy, woodsy. and fairy tale yeah. look, which I cannot wait to see what people yeah. do with that because it's going to be amazing. That seems to be the theme in the air in our industry is <laughs> yes. woodsy and fairy tale ish stuff. Pretty, pretty stuff. So you have to check out this new collection from Prima. Definitely. All right. Then after Prima was Buttons Galore. Woohoo! And man, do they have. Everything. Buttons galore. <laughs> so much buttons galore and so many fun little tiny. Anything tiny is so cute. So remember during, what was it, uh, a live stream, I think I used mm -hmm. the fruit slices. I mean, that is on steroids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> buttons galore. They're everywhere and they have so many new thing, fun things coming. Yes. I mean, another booth that you could just stay in forever. Forever. Because yeah, I you're agree. looking at every little mm -hmm. packet of shaker pieces, embellishments, anything. They've and got it all. Some of them had like a little bit bigger pieces in yes. with the little piece of like the mermaid one was mm -hmm. so cute. Yes. And they so had, cute. So those were the shaker elements. Yes. And man, and there was like a giant flamingo. And yes. Chunk. So, so cool. cute. And so many fun things. So if you like to do shaker cards, you're going to love this booth that we're showing you, and then you're going to love what's coming to scrapbook.com from them. Yes, and I mean, if you haven't checked them out already, mm -hmm. like, look at the stuff that we have on our site now. Yeah. It's amazing. It is amazing. All right, it was so much fun seeing lots of our friends at Creativation in New Orleans this year, and some of the friends that we got to see were Janine at 49 and Market. Yes. That was fun. She has a beautiful new collection coming out, and we cannot wait for it. Yes. Who else did we see? Catherine Pooler was demoing with her new line with Sizzix, and she was using her new inks. Plus, she was showing the Sizzix um, Stamp and Spin yes, tool. Yes, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got to see Catherine and Megan from our fabulous SCT magazine. That was so fun. And they're celebrating 18 years with the magazine. Yes. So it was really fun to see them. Yes. And if you don't know what SCT magazine is, it's Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. You can yeah. get it here at scrapbook.com. So definitely check that out. It's yes. a magazine full of crafty inspiration. So much inspiration and ideas, so you're not going to want to miss that. Grab one of those um, if you're shopping at scrapbook.com. Lots of fun people at the show. So many exciting things happening in the industry, and we are just so happy that we got to bring it here to you to share with you, and I hope you feel like you were there with us. It was eye candy everywhere oh, yeah. that we looked and everywhere we went, so it's a really fun show to be a part of and to walk around. We had so much fun, and we are just looking forward to 2024 and more from these brands and what they're coming out with to continue to inspire all of us in our creativity. Yeah, it was a crafter's high all week for us, so we're just coming down off of it, and we know that they'll be coming out with more, and these brands you know, put a lot of work into their designs and what they bring to us. And we're just so grateful that we got to be there, see it in person and share it with you. So everything that we talked about will be linked in the description below. Be sure to give this video a like, sign up for our VIP text so you're notified when we have lots of fun things happening at scrapbook.com. You'll be the first one to know if you're signed up for our VIP text. And what else, Cody? Did we cover everything? There was so much. I know there was so much, but I do think we hit it all. I feel like my glass is so full right now. It's not half full. It is full to the <laughs> brim with so much inspiration and excitement in the industry. And I just, I got to go craft now. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Same. All right, friends. 
Thank you so much for joining us and joining this recap of Creativation in New Orleans, March 2024. And we will see you all very soon. Thank you. See you, friends. <laughs>